Keyhole surgery is the concept of approaching brain and skull-based tumors through smaller openings in the skull or the natural openings of the nostrils. These techniques aim to minimize collateral damage to surrounding normal brain structures while maximizing tumor removal. Such approaches are now possible as a result of advances in high-definition endoscopy, a surgical telescope, ultrasound, and refined instrumentation. They are used for a wide variety of brain and skull-based tumors. The optimal approach for each patient is determined by the tumor location and surrounding normal anatomy. These may include the endonasal endoscopic route through the nostrils, the supraorbital route through a small eyebrow incision, the retromastoid route through an incision behind the ear, gravity-assisted approaches such as the transfalcine route, these use patient positioning and gravity to allow the normal brain to fall away, creating a safe surgical pathway to the tumor, minimizing the need for brain retraction. To reach tumors located deep in the brain, a small tube is guided to the tumor using MRI fiber mapping to minimize damage to healthy surrounding brain. Through the tube, the tumor is removed. While most tumors can be reached using one of these approaches, it is important to note that they are not ideal for all tumors. In some instances, such as large tumors near the brain surface, a conventional larger craniotomy may be indicated. Regardless of the route, the goal is to achieve maximal tumor removal while minimizing manipulation of critical brain structures, avoiding complications and promoting a more rapid and complete recovery. After keyhole tumor removal, most patients on average are out of the hospital within two to three days and back to full activity within three weeks.